So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question because it's short. Um, but we may have some other things going on here. We do have this equation that starts out. We can definitely do some things to simplify that uh, by squaring both sides. But let's see what the question says before I get too far along there. So it says, if A equals 2, what is the solution set of the equation above? So the equation above is square root of x minus A equals x minus 4. The question tells us that a is 2, so I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of x minus 2 equals x minus 4. And as suspected, right, to simplify this, I do need to square both sides of this equation because that's the only way for me to get rid of the square root here. So when I square the left side, it cancels out the square root, leaving me with just a x minus 2. And then when I square this x minus 4, it becomes x minus 4 times x minus 4, which I can use the FOIL method to simplify. So FOIL, the F stands for multiplying the two first things. I get x squared. O is the two outer things. So I get negative 4x when I multiply those. I are the two inner things. So I get another negative 4x. And L is the two last things. So I get negative 4 times negative 4, which is positive 16. And I still have my x minus 2 over here. So x minus 2 is equal to, let's combine like terms on the right-hand side, x squared, negative 4x minus 4x is negative 8x plus 16. Let's combine some more terms. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides, and I'm going to add 2 to both sides to make the left side equal to 0. So this is 0 equals x squared minus 9x plus 18. And then to solve this, I have to factor it. So what are two numbers that are factors of 18, right? So two numbers that multiply to equal 18, but add up to negative 9. Those two numbers would be negative 3 and negative 6. So I'd have x minus 3 here and x minus 6. If you're not familiar with this, please do review factoring poly, uh, trinomials. That would be a good thing to just look up online or find some extra work with. But basically, I've, I've explained the process, right? Whenever you have a trinomial, which, is, which just means you have three terms, um, the first term being squared is important. You're looking for which two numbers multiply to give you the last term, but add up to the middle term, right? So for instance, negative nine times negative two also equals positive 18, but it does not add up to negative nine. So those, that would not be a good combination. So our numbers here are negative three and negative six, so it's still equal to zero. And then because it's equal to zero, I can set each binomial separately equal to zero. And with that, I find that my answers are x equals 3 over here, and adding 6 to both sides, I get x equals 6 over there, which means that my answer is choice A.